You might want to be even a bit more flexible when you're rehearsing. The session view offers a bit more of flexibility, live looping, etc. So let us have a look there. So when we want to go into the session view, we could use um, these knobs on the far right here, or these buttons, um, go to session view or go to arrangement view, or use the tab button. And now we're in session view. Let's go back to the arrangement view. Uh, we have four parts here we want to use um, as an example. Uh, from Ableton 9 onwards or version 9 onwards, we have the possibility to um, consolidate time to new scene. So that would mean we would now get um, a new scene from these two tracks. Um, or from the selection as well. So if I press this one and go back to here, uh, I got this new scene, which wasn't there before. I'm gonna create a bit more space. We don't need the browser window now, so I um, make it disappear with this knob or this button. So this is our new scene, just the count in. Let's do this with the other ones as well. So I have to select the scene, right click, consolidate time to new scene. This one as well. Consolidate, consolidate time to new scene. And let's take the chorus, should be as long around here, select it, consolidate time to new scene. So uh, as you see, uh, there's no necessity of um, selecting both tracks or the tracks you want. It's about the time or it's about um, the part, so from bar 15 to bar 23. This time is selected and this time will get um, consolidated. All tracks are being consolidated. So I now have these three parts. I'm going to rename them so that I'm sure that I have the right parts. Count in I just press uh, Command R or SDIG R or right click, rename, and then I can rename the scenes. Count in. Um, this is the intro. I made a little mistake here. Count in the next one. first verse and the next one is the first chorus. Okay, so when I now play the count in, just the count in will be looped. Let's have a look at the intro. So you can see the, this clip, the intro clip uh, from the original tune is looped here. Um, we have a little, um, yeah, one stroke here, which is a bit early, but this will do for now. Um, so we can now switch between the different parts we want to rehearse or we want to play or jam to.